Kevin Spiolek, an English international, beat Kurt Dumare of Belgium two sets to one. John Lowe beat Russell Stewart of Australia two nothing. And then big Cliff Lazarenko beat the Spaniard Enrique or Kiki Fauna two nothing. Well, now we have an all Ireland, an all Scotland encounter. It's Peter MacDonald, a 20 year old uh, sales buyer from Inverness. He's the reigning Scottish master and he won the Scottish singles last year. His opponent, the formidable Jockey Wilson, world ranked number five. He won his world title five years ago, but this world master's title has so far eluded him, although he reached the semis last year. He took the first set, and Dave Lanning picks it up now for the start of the second. Wilson, of course, far the more experienced international campaigner of this pair. 100! McDonald, although he has come through quite well, just slightly hindered by... 140! His geographical situation, it's a long way for him to get into what might be considered to be the more sophisticated sense of the sport. I seem to recollect another Scotsman from the far north, Angus Ross, really having to drop out for the big time for the same reason. It's a long way to go to get to the centres of darts. 60. 140. And McDonald has moved right across on our close up camera. 60. Jockey, you require 161. Seen him do this, 161. 60. 45. Jockey, you require 101. 81 there going. 69. Three tens, the third dart. Rounds him off neatly on two sixteens next throw. McDonald unable to finish with these three darts. 83. Jockey, you require 32. For command of this match. No two eights. Yes, that's the first leg. Jockey Wilson. It's very steady, 18 darts again. Second leg, Peter to throw first. Game on. McDonald has got to win this leg to stay alive in the 1987 Win May World 100. Masters. Wilson has preceded his uh, Scottish compatriot, 1919, 18 darts. He has won the set and the first 60. leg of the second set. So he's looking good. Here's McDonald, the younger man, just 22. Scottish uh, singles champion last year, Scottish 140. master. 140! Accomplished player against Wilson, arguably Scotland's greatest ever darting product. 100! Wilson certainly has mastered a fiery temperament on stage. 121! In recent times. So, hands and leg from McDonald here. 60. 41. Peter, you require 80. Wilson, of course, knows that even should he surrender this leg, that's the darts on the next leg, yes, and there it is, the winning throw the from McDonald. Leg. Peter McDonald. But surely Wilson will attempt to turn the Third screw leg. now. Joggy to throw first. Game on. He'll look for a big kick. 60. So he won't really be happy with that. 60 really is a hardly par for the course. 100. 
McDonald looked to be on the ropes, but he's edging back into this one. 100! One hundred and forty. One hundred. Well, that dart takes McDonald into the lead. Stolen. One hundred. The advantage of throw here. It's got to finish next time. And Wilson has got to start doing the business. 100! Peter, you require 161. It will be quite a finish under this kind of pressure if he could manage it. Single first dart. He has to readjust. 58. Jogger, you require 141. Right. Can Wilson blast out on 141? It's a possibility. Three 19s would have left 24. Two 12s. Peter, you require 103. Oh, two twelves. No, twenty-four left. Seventy-nine. Jogger, you require fifty-two. Again for the match. Double top. Yes, that's the second set and the match. Jockey Wilson. And Wilson at last shows uh, a little of his elation. It was quite. A comfortable victory. Looked like he might just be losing his way against his fellow Scott, but he goes forward and he's long overdue. A good world masters. Yes, Jockey Wilson winning the Battle of the Scots very convincingly. In